Hey guys, what a flat top king. Hey, today is all about an inspirational cook. The Italian style cheese steak. You guys say too. All right, here we go. The method behind the madness has been something that's ticking my head. Not a provolone style fan, original cheese steak. I would much rather have American cheese. But that being said, the other day we actually had some ingredients come together. Um, and we started our minds rolling about what we can make. And so here's what we got the idea for. All right. Salami, pepperoni, ribeyes, and the cheesesteak. You know, we got our fresh buns. I know it's not the ones from up north. I'm not from up north, so I don't get them fresh unless we, what, order them online and they take eight days to get here. We got some onions. We're throwing the provolone down as a respect for the Italians. Then I love my sweet peppers. We got a little banana peppers. Then I thought about a little aged balsamic because that vinegar, I think, is like the idea of Italian sandwich. You know, when you do the oil and vinegar, sometimes it's red wine vinegar, let's be honest, but it's going to help cut the fat. Oh, 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 the star of the show. This is what happened. So this is my homemade marinara. This is all I got left. If you guys want to check out that recipe, you can check out it on theflattopking.com where we made that homemade marinara. I just put it in my little pulser, made it smoother. And so we're warming that up and getting that out of the refrigerator. But you could definitely use a jarred marinara. Oh, absolutely. Make it easier. Yeah. So we have a lot of support from up north, especially in the Chicago area. We did a recipe when we first started out called the um, Italian style, Italian beef cheese steak on a flat top grill. With that, we took the idea of the jardinera and we took the um, like Italian style beef, but it was ribeye, but we dunked it in the um, beef stock and made like a combination. And I thought it was fantastic because you got the vinegary versus the fattiness. So this is kind of like a representation of that one. Got it? Yeah. Good, let's go. First things first, I need to do a little prep work. I'm gonna take about maybe half of this large onion With the sweet cherry peppers, I'm just gonna take out the seeds and do a rough chop on those. All right, just a rough chop to the banana peppers, and there you go. Let's move on to the steak. Just to make the uh, ribbons a little bit smaller, I'm just cut in half, and then I'm gonna thinly slice. And then we'll start slicing that ribeye. That ribeye's been in the freezer for about 45 minutes-ish. Um, just to give you an idea, it helps firm up that beef so when you're slicing it, it's not as like a stringy and you're able to slice through it a lot even, a lot more even. All right, we got the Weber out today. Nice change of pace. Look, all this hard beef fat, uh, you can cook it in your ribeye steak or you can use the beef fat to your advantage. Instead of throwing olive oil or avocado oil, something down. It's a great way to, uh, first of all, have a snack, beef fat like this is fantastic but look at all the natural fats that we have on this griddle great way to saute your onions your peppers whatever you got so i'm just going to keep doing that rendering that fat out and get ready to make this sandwich our griddle's nice and hot it's got all that ribeye beef fat on there throw some onions down on a quick last second decision instead of adding this to the onions i'm going to keep it on top for a little bit of extra crunch maybe a little bit more vinegary maybe a little bit more tang some texture in your mouth versus just making it more soft so just something that we just decided at the last second. Let me show you. Get these onions moved over. I've got three piles, cause that's about how much meat each sandwich would take. So I'm just gonna go those pepperoni side down. I'm gonna end up chopping these and mixing them all in that ribeye. I'm gonna hit that ribeye steak real quick with just like a good all-purpose seasoning. A little salt, pepper, like a steak seasoning kind of. All right, everything's looking good right now. I'm gonna start working on a our loaf. I don't want to go all the way through the bread. I still want to be able to seam the bread. 
So you notice how this is more rounder? This is flat. Use the rounder side as your cut side. That way you got a, back, a good back base. Just like that. Right on the base. Not too much. All right, I don't want to overload these sandwiches with the meat. So I'm trying to be a little bit more careful. You see how much grease we're talking about? That's why I was saying the vinegar uh, helped cut some of that fat. That's why I didn't add olive oil or oil to the uh, to the buns like a vinaigrette. And also that's why I like the bell peppers or the banana peppers and those sweet cherry peppers because it helps cut all that fat. The pepperonis crisping up nice. Get a little char on the salami. This is going just about as well as I thought it would. You got the onions in there. With that marinara, I'm just gonna go right in the middle of it. Kinda let that heat come up right underneath it. All right, once your marinara is down, I'm just looking at two good slices of provolone cheese. Take that bun right on top of it so it steams it all together. Melts that cheese. All right, now this can get dangerous if you've done it for the first time. Just be very careful. Get all that grease and all that meat. <laughs> Golly. I'm gonna take it over here. Just add a little bit of those toppings. And we'll do the other two just like this. Golly. All right, there you go. There's the Italian salad cheesesteak. We put it on the Weber griddle today, representing that North area. Even Weber, I think, is from uh, Chicago, right? I don't know. I think so. Mm. Golly, that looks so good. <laughs> My turn. They always say you can tell a sandwich success. That is success. <laughs> if you wrap this bad boy up and gave it to somebody. Like your wife? <laughs> Golly, mm. that looks good, honey. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. And then cheese pulls on point. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you what. Mm. The Chicago style sport pepper that had just a little bit more heat in them. It's missing a little bit of heat. Maybe a little red pepper. I don't think it's missing anything. God, that's good. That's got to be on the menu somewhere. That's got to be on a food truck. I would I would go to that food truck on Friday cheat day. <laughs> just for that? Yeah. Is my hat on crooked? No. My head must be crooked. <laughs> All right, guys. There you go. That's our rendition. I'm not going to take much time. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I, I, I swear by this one. This is no, this is, this is good. The, the vinegar cuts the fat. There's a lot of mm. moisture going on in there. You need a lot of It's not dry. need a lot of napkins. I think you could probably handle actually another piece of cheese. Maybe. I don't know. But it is fan freaking tastic. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook. where we talk about griddles, where inspiration like this comes along. And we thank each and every one of you for taking part of the group. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Ciao, Tom. Get it? Ciao. Mm. Mm. Look at the mess. <laughs> it's messy. It's still dripping. Look at the charred pepperoni and salami. Mm. Mm. It's a winner. That's been good.